Cardano CEO to work with the Trump administration on crypto policy in 2025. Guys, this is the some of the greatest news we've ever heard in the Cardano ecosystem, even greater than the Shelly release. This is amazing, guys. Good morning, New 1%. It's your boy Boomin coming at you with yet another video, guys. I really appreciate each and every one of you tuning in today. We've got some amazing news in Cardano, and I love to share it with you today, guys. Go ahead and hit the like button, the subscribe button, and the notification bell so you never miss a Cardano or VeChain video. We do VeChain and Cardano videos every single day, so you don't want to miss them. Join the Patreon down below, guys. I will be answering your questions. Join the Patreon, ask a question. At the end of the video coming soon, we will be answering any portfolio questions, any live questions, anything you want to talk about on the show. Let's get right into it, guys. Charles Huskison has a very important message for us. Second, a large part of my time in 2025 will also be devoted to the political process. I'm going to be spending quite a bit of time working with lawmakers in Washington, D.C., and quite a bit of time working with members of the administration uh, to help foster and facilitate with other key leaders in industry uh, the crypto policy. We have to do this and we have to get it done. There's a very high probability that the Republicans will control not only the Senate and the presidency, but also the Congress, the House. And in the process of doing so, this is the best opportunity we have ever had in the history of the industry to get clarity for our industry and remove the sort of Democles that the SEC has reigned over the Cardano ecosystem, uh, Ripple ecosystem, the Ethereum ecosystem, reigned over Solana, reigned over all the major ecosystems, and actually including Bitcoin in many respects, despite the ETF approvals. None of us signed up to have companies like BlackRock dictate to the United States what the crypto policy should be. The crypto policy should be written by the American people, the American crypto industry, and by well-meaning lawmakers who are willing to take the time to listen. So we will establish at Input Output a policy office, and we're going to begin staffing that office, moving some personnel around, and hopefully by January we can begin to participate in that process and work with certain key leaders in certain key positions uh, and get to a point where we can hybridize many of the proposals, including FIT21, including the Lummis Bill, uh, the FIA, and other such things, uh, so that we can get a bipartisan bill passed that will give us absolute clarity of when things are securities and commodities, help us navigate the often tumultuous and chaotic waters of DeFi, and get us to a point where we can get back to business. No one in this industry has asked for a subsidy or a bailout. No one in this industry has asked for special rules or special treatment. All we've asked is to be left alone and be able to build our businesses and create trillions of dollars of value and millions of jobs for the American people. I think with a message like that, it makes absolutely no sense to those who aren't corrupt and those who are listening uh, to actually get a law passed. So that's what we're going to focus on in 2025. We're going to get our growth and adoption where it needs to be, and we're going to make sure that we have solid policy so that we can move forward as a nation. As many of you know, I have personal friendships with certain lawmakers and certain people who are now members of the Trump administration. We hopefully will be able to have great dialogues with them in the coming months to put together some of this policy. And I hope to be part of that, but that has yet to be decided based upon the fact that they're not even in office yet uh, and they just picked the chief of staff. So it's going to take a little bit more time to see what that composition looks like. But in my early conversations with the transition team, in my early conversations uh, with many people who want to promote good crypto policy, I have every reason to believe there is a genuine desire to not relitigate and relive the last four disastrous years that have been so painful and harmful to all of us. I also believe there's a strong desire, especially amongst younger Democrats and younger Democrat lawmakers, for crypto policy to be bipartisan instead of a Republican issue and a wedge issue between the parties. And this is most evidenced by the fact that FIT21 was passed in the House with more than 60 Democrat votes. This election, I fully appreciate, has been very stressful for many Americans who felt that the wrong candidate won. I want to take a moment to talk to them. 
while we do disagree on politics and while we do disagree on uh, the nature of how the next four years are going to unroll and uh, unravel, there is one thing that unites us. We're still Americans. And I'd like to believe that we both want this country to succeed. And there are many things I think we can find common ground on. I was in Washington State for the last five days. Many of the people I was with were not exactly on the right side of the spectrum, but they were quite excited about Robert Kennedy being involved in health policy. And that's the power of unity a party. You don't get everything that you want, but at least you get a few things that you can unify on and talk about. And I do believe that if we come together on both sides of the aisle, that we can get to a crypto policy that makes sense for the entire United States and for all of our businesses here. Because after all, the protocols don't discriminate the politics. So why should we as leaders and why should we in the legislative process? It doesn't make any sense at all. So I'm definitely going to be reaching across the aisle to many people who are on the other side of things uh, and ask them if they'd like to participate in uh, the discussions and conversations. And hopefully, I think we can come to a common understanding about some basic principles as an industry as a whole of where we need to go and what we need to do. The other thing is, I think I've gained my passion back. You know, four ketamine trips is quite a bit. I think it was over a gram of ketamine after this. <laughs> my man's on the ketamine, bro. That's crazy. Uh, so, yeah, we heard it from the horse's mouth. Mm. Charles is going to be working with the Trump administration now. Guys, right now it's just preliminary. All right. So while we're excited, while we're happy, while we're looking forward to the future, I want to temper and manage expectations. I know. I know. I'm being the Debbie Downer. Uh, but just, you know, don't do anything crazy. Stick to the plan. Keep stacking, keep staking, keep chilling. Right now, uh, Cardano is up 30% in the past 24 hours. Absolutely crazy. On our way to a dollar. Um, I think we're going to get to a dollar by you know the end of next week uh, if this trend continues to happen. Please don't mortgage your house or do anything insane. Take out a whole lot of debt to buy Cardano, guys. The work should have been done weeks ago. The work should have done been done a year ago. You should have you should have been stacking, staking, and chilling all this time. All right, guys. So um, the work, you know, you don't when you see the trees in the forest, they weren't planted yesterday. They were planted years ago. So if you're coming in now, what I'd recommend, welcome. If you're new, welcome. But what I'd recommend you do is to sit and learn about the Cardano ecosystem. Yeah, you could buy a couple of coins here and there, but don't do anything crazy. You don't feel like you have to FOMO in. FOMO is for noobs, all right? FOMO is for noobs. So while this is very, very nice, and I'm very, very excited, and I'm very, very happy, we got to remember that the work should have been done years ago, okay? If you're new, come on in. Learn about the Cardano ecosystem. Here's Tap Tools. T A P T O O L S dot I O. You can see all the Cardano native assets here and their prices. We have a robust native asset network here, guys. Um, thousands of native assets uh, that I absolutely adore and love. Okay, if you're new to Cardano, you can come over here and Check all the prices for all the native assets. Number one meme coin on Cardano is Snack. All right, guys. Uh, we got Stablecoin, IUSD, World Mobile Token, Decentralized, uh, uh, decentralized Physical Infrastructure, DPIN. Uh, we got USDM, AGIX, which is changing into the uh, Artificial Intelligence Alliance. Uh, we have AI. Jed, another stable coin, MinSwap. We have a robust DeFi ecosystem MinSwap. If you are new and you're looking to get into Cardano DeFi, MinSwap is pretty much uh, the the far and away the best uh, ecosystem here. Um, I wish they had just a link to just go to MinSwap. Uh, let's see here, yeah, website. <clears throat> As we can see here, guys, very simple, very sleek. Um, uh, they just released V2, pretty cool. 
all Cardano native assets you could trade at low fees. They have farming, lending, borrowing, everything here, guys. So we have a fully robust ecosystem here that, uh, you know, just needs to be tapped. There's a lot of arbitrage that you could do here, too, especially a lot of you Ethereum guys, a lot of you Solana guys coming in. Uh, there's a lot of stuff that uh, can be done here. Farming. Okay. Let's check. take a look at some of these rates. If this thing would load, <laughs> uh, yeah, eleven percent, twenty-five percent on SNEC and ADA liquidity, AGIX twelve percent, so decent. We got seventy percent IUSD ADA APR. So, um, there's there's opportunities here in Cardano. Not to mention staking. Okay, staking is easy, simple. Uh, my favorite wallet. You can stake directly from your wallet. You hold your own coins. Your coins never leave your wallet in Cardano. As we can see here, this is the Eternal Wallet. Uh, one of the greatest wallets ever made. I just love the, uh, the simplicity of the wallet. It syncs every 10 seconds. Um, you can connect your Trezor directly to the wallet. Uh, literally, you can stake anywhere. Staking is easy. Um, so yeah, guys, I mean, uh, this wallet I recommend is easy. You could swap directly, uh, from one chain to another. Uh, you could swap your ADA directly in the wallet. You don't even have to go to, uh, to any other, uh, platform to stake. Uh, so, you know, you could just type in your token here that you want. So, uh, let's just say I want to buy some uh let's see here adax i don't think adax exists anymore but let's just say and you know i put it in there 500 i guess let's see here i don't know if uh, it'll let me do it but yeah you can swap directly in your wallet and it shows up in your wallet uh so this uh you can vote directly in your wallet too <laughs> you can vote vote directly on catalyst in your wallet crazy crazy and obviously you can send receive swap all that good stuff so i'd highly recommend this wallet here guys you could do pretty much anything you could think of uh you could do market limit orders directly in the wallet so uh, i'd recommend that wallet for DeFi. it can integrate into anything there's also lace there's just so much here that if you're not into cardano already you're new to cardano come on in guys there's so much here we also have a robust DeFi ecosystem like i talked about earlier guys we have lending and borrowing liquid finance right here number one min swap like we already talked about we have uh, collateralized debt positions as well indigo chain uh synthetic assets as well uh we got lending stable coins dexes uh, Sunday Swap is a Dex. I remember uh, when that first came out. Muesli Swap was the first Dex on Cardano. Pretty cool. Wing Riders, great Dex. Uh, so we have a very large <clears throat> DeFi ecosystem as well, guys. So uh, yeah, that's it. If you're new to Cardano, welcome. We'd love to have you. Uh, keep stacking, keep staking, keep chilling, guys. I love you all so much. And I'll talk to you guys soon with the VJ and the Cardano updates. Where do you guys think Cardano can go? Join the Patreon. If you guys got any questions, I'd love to answer them on the show. Take care.